When you're worth nearly $200 billion and fighting for the title of the world's richest man, you can afford to spend on whatever you darn well like. We're not talking about Jeff Bezos here. We're talking about the tech visionary, the tri-citizen entrepreneur, and the brainchild of Tesla, SpaceX, PayPal, and so much more, Elon Musk. As one of the most successful modern inventors, Musk has brought so much ingenuity, so much passion, and admittedly, a few raised eyebrows with his experience centric projects. But what seemed crazy five years ago now seems normal. And what seems unfathomable now? Well, just wait five more years. Maybe we'll all be on Mars sooner than we think. So let's explore the mind of Elon Musk and see firsthand his incredible array of inventions that are revolutionizing the planet. But before we dive headfirst into this man's brilliant mind, let's take it back a notch. To understand the genius, we first need to understand the journey. And for a young Elon, a shy and small boy who would soon amount to great things, that journey all started in the city of Pretoria in South Africa. Right around the time of his parents' divorce, when he was just 10 years old, little Elon found solace in what would soon prove to be the beginning of his legacy, computers. He developed his interests in coding and learnt the inner workings of what was, at the time, a relatively new, mysterious technology. So he taught himself how to program, and by the age of 12, had not only created his first piece of software, but he'd sold it, too. It was a simple game called Blaster. Remember that name because we'll be circling back to it a little later. In 1988, before he'd even turned 18, he got a Canadian passport and left South Africa for two major reasons. One, he couldn't support apartheid through compulsory military service. Service. And two, because he envisioned the enormous potential of working in the United States, and Canada was his way in. So he went to Queen's University in Ontario, then the University of Pennsylvania, and then finally Stanford out west, before dropping out just two days after classes began. Why? Simple. He felt that the internet had so much more potential to change society than working in physics. It proved to be a masterstroke, because decades later, after giving birth to computer technology, Technologies, electronic vehicle manufacturers, space explorers, and so much more, he's worth close to $185 billion. The majority of that stems from his Tesla shares. Musk currently owns around 34 million of them, or 19% of the company. With Tesla's market cap currently sitting at $800 billion, Musk is entitled to $160 billion of that. And that doesn't even include any of his other wildly successful ventures. Okay then, let's zoom in on Tesla for a moment. Contrary to popular belief, Musk didn't actually found Tesla, and he came on board in 2004 as its product architect the year after it was founded. Fast forward to 2008, and Musk was now sitting in the CEO's chair, calling the shots and commissioning groundbreaking EV technologies like the Tesla Model S, Model X, Model 3, and most recently, the uh, futuristic-looking Cybertruck. But Musk hasn't just led Tesla into the automotive world, he's done so much more. Through the Tesla lens, Musk has also created the yet-to-be-released robotic SNCC charger, the Tesla Mobile Container Store, the Supercharging Station, the $3,500 Powerwall, essentially a giant battery that allows homeowners to power their houses, and, of course, the Gigafactory, soon to be the largest building in the world. Not too long before he joined the Tesla ranks, Musk had already built something spectacular. Back then, when it was founded in 1999, this revolutionary financial services and email payments technology was called X.com. About a year later, X.com merged with Confinity, a financial startup co-founded by Peter Thiel. At this point, Musk was appointed CEO, and X.com was rebranded, known to this day as Yep. PayPal. Musk put $10 million of the money he got from a Zip2 sale into X.com, an investment that would pay off big time. Because when the technology was sold to eBay in 2002 for a cool $1.5 billion, Musk walked away with $165 million in his pocket. Even though Elon is no longer involved, 
PayPal has continued to grow, now boasting a market cap of over $280 billion. With the recent announcement enabling cryptocurrency, that number could rocket even higher. Speaking of rockets, see what we did there? That brings us to what is arguably Elon's most famous current company, SpaceX. With $100 million of the money he received from the PayPal site, in 2002, Musk set off on his wildly ambitious goal to make spaceflight cheaper by a factor of 10. If that were to be achieved, colonizing Mars would be a walk in the park. During his time at the helm of SpaceX, he's overseen the development of Falcon 1 and Falcon 9, two rockets designed to be reusable. On the contrary, most rockets end up burning up in the atmosphere. It's all thanks to the so-called Raptor rocket engines. In early 2021, Elon also teased fans by discussing what he called a zero-emission rocket, an electric rocket that would be propelled by the conversion process of CO2 and H2O to CH4 and O2. In other words, carbon dioxide and water to methane oxygen. Despite a couple setbacks, SpaceX has been incredibly successful, now valued at up to $92 billion. We've got electric cars, reusable rockets, and rounding out Elon's trinity of revolutionary vehicles, the Hyperloop. While traditional bullet trains run on electricity and can reach 200 miles per hour, the levitating Hyperloop is propelled through low-pressure air tunnels by magnetic energy capable, at least in theory, of hitting max speeds of 600 miles per hour, just shy of the speed of sound. After conceptualizing Hyperloop back in 2013, with colonizing Mars and revolutionizing the electric vehicle industry already fairly heavy burdens on his plate, he decided to open source the system's basic design, allowing other visionaries to set the project into motion. And that's exactly what happened. A number of companies worldwide, led by Richard Branson's Virgin Hyperloop One, have plans to build routes all over the world, connecting places like Dubai to Abu Dhabi in just 12 minutes, or Mumbai to Poon, or Dallas to Loretto. While other businesses have made progress, Virgin is the only one to have successfully tested a section of the machinery with humans inside. We've actually got an entire video about the Hyperloop. Check it out after this one. The link's in the description. Somewhat related to the Hyperloop, another string in Elon's bow is the Boring Company, comically named yet technically accurate. Founded in December of 2016 by Musk himself, TBC aims to solve the problem of soul-destroying traffic. And to do so, Musk believes that roads must go 3D, which means either flying cars or tunnels are needed. But unlike flying cars, tunnels are weatherproof, out of sight, and won't fall on your head. His words, not ours. The $928 million Boring Company has been approved to dig a tunnel between DC and New York, one which Virgin could then use for another Hyperloop route. Now, long before Elon was tunneling between cities, he was mapping them. In fact, that was his inaugural online software, Zip2. He founded Zip2 in 1995 alongside his brother. At its core, the software was aimed at helping the newspaper industry put together city guides for online users. After turning down a merger with City Search, the Musk boys eventually decided to sell the directory to Compaq in 1999, raking in $300 seven million dollars, of which Elon pocketed a respectable 22 million. All right, moving on. We all know that combating climate change is of utmost importance for Musk, which brings us to his next big thing, Solar City. While technically now a subsidiary of Tesla, after the 2.6 billion merger in 2016, Solar City has gone from a small startup in 2006 that Musk founded with his cousins to the second largest provider of solar panels in the US providing renewable solutions in over 14 states, plus DC. Now, we said we would circle back to it. How's this for a blast from the past? Elon's first ever invention, made in his preteen bedroom, was this video game, Blastar. As if creating his own game as a 12-year-old wasn't impressive enough. In typical entrepreneurial Elon Musk fashion, he sold the game to a magazine for roughly $500. Remarkably, it's still online today. And yes, you can play it. Here's what it looks like. 
<laughs> now, that might have been the budding inventor's first creation, but it was far from his last. Even with everything already in progress, like colonizing Mars and saving the world, Musk still has ambitious plans in mind. The tech genius has recently teased the idea of Tesla creating an electronic vertical takeoff and landing craft, aka an electric jet. Despite all the inventions and the constant spotlight, Musk only personally owns five patents. Still, that's five more patents than most people. Here they are, in layman's terms, summoning self-driving cars, faxes internet style, using the internet to connect with call centers, the Zip2 business directory and map database, online search using geographical radius. Now to wrap things up, we'll leave you with this. When the Tesla stock price fell 8% on January 11th, 2021, Elon Musk lost $14 billion. Being so unfathomably rich, he probably didn't even notice.